Hello. So, last time around, we did a value scale uh, going from dark to light, and we glued down a picture of an eye, and then we had a go at drawing it. I've got one here, but maybe you've had a go a few times, which is the right way to do it. That'd be fantastic. And uh, we're going to try and use the exact same skills, only thinking about making a few lines, and then the rest of it, we do all the, all the shape with tone, basically. Um, okay, so I'm going to take a picture of a nose. And this is something that you could have done last time with the eye if you found it difficult to uh, uh, to draw the shape. You could trace it through. Um, so the way you do that is you shade in the back, so put the pencil on the side. I'm going to sh shade diagonally in one direction. I'm going to try and fill most of it, but not all of it. I don't have to get right to the edges because there's no detail at the edges on the photo. There you go, and shade the other way as well. And then turn it over, place it where you want it, and then press hard and trace this line here, and this one here, and then I'm gonna shade in those darkest parts of the nostrils, there they are, and then just the edges of the nostrils I'm going to draw. I'm not drawing anything else. You might be able to see a line there, but that's just a change in tone. That's all it is. We don't actually have a line on our faces here. Here you can see more of a line because it's the edge of something. You see the edge of your nostrils. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, peel that up and see if it's come through. Yep, it has. So I'll take it off and hopefully you can see that there. There's the outline. Of, uh, of a nostril. So um, I've got one that I've drawn on and that's not, not um, the one that you've drawn on isn't good now for you to use to copy from. So I'm going to get uh, another one. So if you're going to trace it through, you would need two copies basically uh, of the picture. One to trace and one to really look closely at. Okay, so I'm just going to go over some of those lines. Now, this is the darkest area of the whole picture, isn't it? So more like this on the value scale, where the nostrils are. I'm gonna start by making those nice and dark. Just like that. Same over here. I'm gonna make this nice and dark as well. Okay. So part of it is dark, but part of it is more like a graded tone. It gets a little bit lighter. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to go a little bit lighter. there, And same on this side, a little bit lighter. And then I'm going to put in the edges of the nostrils now. And this edge so I can see it. Now, the next thing I like to do is to just shade over the whole thing. I put my pencil on its side, I go diagonally, and this is to create a mid-tone. And once you've created a mid-tone, mid-tone is halfway between um, light and dark, isn't it? Once you've created that, it becomes a bit easier. So a lot of artists of the past would do things like this. They they, they wouldn't start on a white canvas or a white background. They'd, uh, they'd start with a grey or sometimes a brown background. Something that was halfway between dark and light. There we go. So then I would just smudge it. Now, creating a mid-tone like that, it's quite a skill. So you might need to give it some practice because you, you put your pencil on its side, you hold it halfway down and you press lightly, not too hard. It might start to look like a scribble. That's okay, just go back over it lightly and always smudge with your fingers, okay? Um, all right, so now that I've got that, I'm just gonna look at um, look at which tones I need to use. So I'm gonna start underneath here. I can see it's darker. So I've already got the darkest bits. I know that nothing else needs to be as dark as these two nostrils here. Everything else should be a bit lighter.
So I've put some darkness in underneath the nose now. And now I'm going to go to the edges. There's a bit of shadow here. At this point, I'm going to turn my book a little bit. Just because it's easier for me to shade. Here we go. Now, some people, they end up drawing a line here. But there is no line. It's just a change in tone. If you draw a line there and a line there, you end up with a triangle shape on your face. And your nose isn't really that shape. Or it doesn't have any hard edges to it like a triangle would. All you've got is a difference between dark and light. The only real lines on your nose are the edges of your nostrils, really. And, um, so these two edges and these lines here. Okay, and then same again on the other side. There's a bit of shadow there, so I'll do that. Okay, so now I can see um, a kind of like the base of the nose here. Um, there's some shadow there, so I'm going to put that in. But this shadow should be darker than this one, shouldn't it? So I'm going to make sure that this one stays darker. I'm just thinking about light and dark. Which bits are dark and which bits are light. You can see a white line there. That's uh, that's from another example that I rubbed out <laughs> earlier. Never mind. Okay. Bit of shadow around there. Right, it's beginning to take shape. And believe it or not, we're nearly done. The last thing I need to do, oh, a little bit of shadow around here as well. Just put that in. Uh, last thing that I need to do is to use my rubber to put a highlight in. So I'm going to put a highlight on uh, the tip of the nose there. So I don't need to press hard at all with the rubber. It's as if you're kind of drawing with it. So straight away, it's beginning to take shape. It's, um, it's darker on this nostril than it is on this one. So I'm going to make it lighter on this one. And then... Up the bridge of the nose there, as, it, as you go up the nose, it's light up there as well. Okay, and then just blow away all that rubber. And then any hard edges that you get, where, um, that you rubbed out, you see there, it just goes from dark to light very quickly. If you want to blend them in, you can just use your finger and give it a smudge. If you over smudge it, doesn't matter. Just get your rubber again and, and rub those bits out that you wanted to. And there you go. It looks like it's kind of beginning to take shape, it's starting to look like a nose that kind of comes forward out of your face because that's what they do, don't they? They stick out of your face. Okay, not too bad. Looking at it, I can tell straight away that that bit is a little bit too dark. It's the right tone on that side, but on this side it was a bit lighter. So I'm going to rub some bits out and smudge it a bit. Okay, and I'm happy with that. So um, what I could do if I wanted to keep practicing is a really good idea. So what I could do is get this one again that I traced, that I shaded on the back, uh, shaded in on the back and trace it through again and try again and then use that one again to look closely at the detail. Okay, uh, looking forward to see what you can do with that one and uh, have fun.